Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Princess Renny here, and I'm speaking way too fast. <laughs> how y'all doing though? Nah, for real, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. It's Princess Renny here, and I'm back with another video. Um, if you are already subscribed, welcome back. If it's your first time here, welcome. We're glad to have you. Make sure that you go down below and subscribe to the channel. Um, we would love to have you guys. I post new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Um, so there's a lot of content coming out. So go ahead, subscribe, subscribe. Um, with that being said, today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, why your natural hair is not growing. And I know it's different for... Technique or true malfunction. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be talking about um, why your natural hair is not growing, and I know it's different for everyone, but these are just some things that I learned along the way that I am ready to share with you guys. So if you haven't already, I've already shared a video on how I grew up my natural hair. Um, I had my first, my second big shop um, last year, about a year ago, and my hair is already back to the length that it was at, or even longer than that. Um, so I shared with you guys how I grew up my natural hair, what tips I follow. If you're interested in watching that video, I will link it above. Just press the I card right above here, and you'll be able to see that video. Now. Um, I want to talk a little bit about why your natural hair is not growing and these are different reasons that can apply to you It might apply to someone that you know um, some of these even apply to me So number one the reason your hair is not growing is because you're not taking care of the scalp I think it's very important to make sure that you are cleansing your scalp that you are nourishing your scalp um, I know some people put oil on their scalp some people um, do those massages and things like that you want to make sure that you have some kind of sebum and you have natural hair sebum but if you want to um, enhance your hair growth it's recommended that you add different oils such as castor oil um, I know some people use coconut oil I'm not a fan of coconut oil but definitely recommend castor oil I definitely recommend almond oil um, uh, you know olive oil light oils or thick oils it just depends on your preference but make sure that you're also massaging your scalp when you're putting those oils on your scalp also, make sure that you're cleansing your scalp um, at least once a month. And again, this depends on your hair regimen, your monthly regimen, whatever it is that you do. Um, make sure that you're cleansing your scalp completely. I know some people, when they go to wash their hair and they have a full-on wash day, they neglect their scalp and they just get rid of the products on just their hair. You have to make sure you go in and actually massage out all of those um, buildup that you have. Otherwise, the buildup is going to prevent new growth from coming through. So make sure that you're taking very good care of your scalp. And if you're not taking good care of your scalp, that can be one of the reasons that your hair is not growing. Another reason why your natural hair might not be growing is because your hand is always in your hair. And I am guilty of this. Um, when I first became natural and I saw my natural curls and things like that, I was upset. Like, I love doing wash and goes just so I can like put my fingers in my hair and twirl it and all that fun stuff. And I actually saw this natural hair um, TikTok. I think it was by uh, Natu Curly. And basically it was like her and her friend like they were both like obsessed with touching their hair and it was just to the point where it's like you know what we can't help it like <laughs> I am like that okay but I also try to stop um, and not keep my hands in my hair and um, that means you're not styling your hair every single day that means you're not uh, just randomly touching your hair um, you could have so much things on your hands especially like right now my nails are all falling on falling off and what I try to do is prevent myself from touching my hair because I can accidentally I can accidentally like snag um, a strand um, and all these things so I want to make sure that I'm not keeping my hands in my hair and manipulating it because um, the tugging the pulling the you know touching like it's just too much you want to make sure that you keep your hand out of your hair so that you're not um, interfering with the natural things that it does um, and just let your hair be, let it be free, let it breathe, you know? Um, but another thing is that you're not tying your hair up at night or you're not protecting your hair. So um, when you're wearing certain clothes, sometimes it can cause friction, sometimes it can snag on your clothes. You want to make sure that you're wearing cotton um, tops um, at all times, uh, polyester, uh, 
cashmere, wool, anything like that can always attach to your hair, depending on your hair type as well. If you have 4C hair, you know how it is. Like sometimes it snags on like any and everything. Um, but also like. When you're sleeping, don't just sleep on a cotton pillowcase. Uh, go for a satin pillowcase because that's how you keep in all that moisture in your hair that you have. That way your hair doesn't dry out too fast. And of course, you um, don't have those nutrients working in your favor so that your hair can grow. So make sure that you're protecting your hair. Put a satin on it, a scarf, um, satin uh, pillowcase, whatever it is that you have to make sure your hair is protected. and. Be careful with the clothes that you're wearing so that your hair is also protected and not being snagged on your clothes. Um, another reason can be that your hair is too dry. You are not moisturizing your hair enough. And I know a lot of natural say, oh, they do the LOC, LCO method. I personally don't do the LCO or LOC method because I feel like it does not allow me to continue uh, to re-moisturize my hair. Once I lock in all that moisture with the oil, um, my hair is still pretty dry maybe two or three days later um, because I have low porosity hair so it takes long for the product to go in once it go in it takes a while for it to come out that's not true like my hair can dry up really fast depending on the product of course that I'm using so um, I like not to lock my hair in with the oil and I found that that actually works better when I use products that already have oil in them and it lasts to the point where all I need to do is reapply that product or I could just spritz some water and I reactivate it depending on what style it is that I have and um, this I actually did my hair yesterday and um, it looks pretty healthy it actually feels really good I just twist uh, undid my twists and like my hair is like bomb I love how the twist out came out and I know like based on how my hair felt I know it's gonna last me for about four days before I have to re-moisturize my hair and I did not put oil um, the only oil I put was on my fingertips to undo it, but I didn't like overdo it with oil on my hair. And that's of course going to last me um, a good amount of time. So make sure that you are moisturizing your hair enough, um, but you don't want to over moisturize your hair either. You know exactly what your hair needs, you know exactly what your hair wants. So just make sure you're paying attention to your hair and giving it that moisture and nutri nutrients that it needs. Um, again, your hair is like a plant, so make sure you're watering it, so putting the water of course make sure that it's been watering your hair and putting all those good nutrients that it needs in order to grow um another reason why your hair might not be growing is because you're using too much heat um i personally stay away from heat the last time i've used heat in my hair was exactly two years ago from today um i straightened my hair for my um, college graduation. Um, my graduation was May 30th, I believe, and I straightened my hair like a day or two before. So today is like the 28th. So, um, yeah, that was the last time I used heat in my hair, and I never turned back. I don't um, miss it or anything. If I want my hair to be straight, I'll just put on a straight wig. Not saying I'm never going to straighten my hair, but I have experienced crazy amount of heat damage to the point where I wanted to hold on to my length but I knew my hair was damaged and I just needed to get rid of it so um, don't risk it like don't risk your natural hair journey just by especially like for me I went to um, the Dominicans and they just I saw the smoke and I was still feeling it. I was like it's gonna get my hair straight and the thing about it is that I went to them the December before um, to do my hair in 2017 and then 2018 that May I went and I straightened my hair I was like oh it's fine it's about five or six months I'm good um <laughs> no you're not good like come on so um I yeah had crazy amount of heat damage and just <sighs> I am gonna be straightening my hair myself if I ever decide to straighten it again but right now I don't miss it I am loving this um, journey of getting to know my curls and my pattern and what my hair likes and things like that so do not use too much heat I understand that some of you guys may need to use heat to like blow out your hair and things like that but there's so many other options for stretching your hair um, getting the fake blowout look and different things like that so if you are interested in um, seeing how I do my hair without heat at all, like a heatless wash day, um, I got you. Just go ahead and give this video a like and let me know that's something that you would like to see. So another reason that your hair is not growing is because you're holding on to dead ends, dead relationships. It's time to say goodbye. Let it go. It's done. Okay. So honestly, <laughs> your hair um, 
if it looks frizzy at the ends, if it is like not cooperating with you, it's time for you to get it checked out. It could be that it's the product that you're using. It could be that um, you know you're not your hair is not moisturized enough. It could be that um, whatever shampoo or wash day routine you're following just is not working. But it could also be that your hair needs to be trimmed or cut. So your hair reacts to different products in different ways, right? So if you're wetting your hair and the first part of it is super curly and the other part is just not cooperating, you need to take a closer look at those strands. You need to go in and look at the actual ends of your hair and say, hmm, do I have any split ends? Do I have any single strand knots? Like, what's going on, right? Um, if your hair is tangling a lot, if your hair is, um, you know, like constantly breaking off, shedding a lot, like that might be a sign that you need to get a trim because the ends of your hair are affecting the rest of your hair. The ends of your hair, these are the older parts of your hair and if they're not well taken care of, you need to go ahead and get rid of it so that you can start over or so that you can continue with healthier hair. So go ahead and trim the ends, trim on a regular basis, get rid of those dead ends and protect your hair. The reason why your natural hair is not growing is because you're not drinking enough water. Water is uh, the number one thing that we need in our bodies, right? And um, we, it helps hydrating your skin, hydrating yourselves, promotes healthy skin, healthy hair, and healthy nails. So drink lots and lots and lots and lots of water. Drink the required amount of water um, on a daily basis and be consistent with it. If you're not consistent, you won't see those results. So, um, I, so I have a few more tips for you guys. Um, I have some of them written down, so I'm just gonna go ahead and see what tips I forgot to mention for you. The reason why your hair might not be growing is uh, due to the fact of genetics. So I do know genetics play a major role in your hair growing out, and I'm not gonna sit here in front of you and be like, well, you know, my hair is just growing because I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Like, there's obviously genetics that play a role in it. And I know my mom um, had long hair when she was around my age. Um, like, her hair was like mid back length, like really long and really healthy. Um, so, I know that plays a, a role in it. And I know my dad also has not like really healthy hair um, as well. So, of course, I know like because of my parents and their genetics or whatever um, that passed down to me, like that goes to show that my hair um, length is being affected because of that. So like if your um, family um, naturally has short hair and their hair never grows past a certain length, there is um, other alternatives that you can do. You can take supplements, you can do um, treatments and things like that to your hair, healthy and natural treatments to your hair. But um, of course I know genetics does play a role in it and um, because my mom also had long hair as I mentioned before um, you know my I see my hair growing and it's to the point where I haven't reached my plateau yet so I'm very hopeful that my hair will be mid back length as well when I get um, around the age that my mom was at when she had mid back length hair so that does play a role in it and I'm being real like that could be a reason as to why but then there's also another reason why your hair might not be growing is health issues um you might need to get your health checked out so um one of the recommendations that i've seen is that you may have a hormone deficiency you're lacking in some vitamins um you may have other underlying conditions that you just need to have examined and i would recommend like if it's something to the point where um, you're struggling like really struggling to get your hair to grow and it's just not working out then I would highly highly recommend seeing a medical professional and just getting it checked out and see okay what can I do to promote healthier hair growth so it's not there's nothing wrong with you if your hair is not growing I think natural hair is gorgeous altogether like whether your hair is short whether your hair is long whether your hair is medium length whatever it may be like you need to rock it and be confident in the hair that you have um the reason i'm on a hair growth journey is because i want to see my potential i want to see just how long my hair would get i've always said that i just want my hair to get mid back length like bra strap length um curly so i wanted to be looking like that as curly hair but then i realized that as a natural a type 4 natural our hair shrinks up so bad that <laughs> even if i did a wash and go 
my hair would not be all the way there. Like I know girls that have waist length hair and they're type four naturals and their hair comes like this when they're like um, in a wash and go. So I'm like being realistic. I just want to see how long my hair would get and I want to see how big it can get because I have naturally thick hair as well. So that's why I'm on a hair growth journey and so far it's been growing. Um, please let me know if there's other reasons as to why some people's hair might not be growing. Maybe I missed something. Um, maybe there's something that you relate to that I've also already mentioned or that other people can relate to that I did not mention. So just go ahead and comment below what are some reasons why your hair has not been growing and also what are some tips that you have for how your hair grew out so I hope this was educational for you guys I hope that it was something that um, enlightened you I know you guys heard some of these tips before but I just found that these were some things that impacted me and other people that I know um, when it comes to natural hair and not and it not growing so um don't be discouraged don't give up keep trying um, if your goal is to have waist length hair do not give up on that goal. Um, there's other things out there that you can try. Um, I'm gonna try to be more consistent in like my hair growth tips and different things that I'm doing to grow out my natural hair. I have been using this natural hair oil from Tumani Naturals and basically it's a hair oil blend that one of my friends made and she sent me a bottle and I've been trying it. It's for type four naturals, you only need to use it two to like three times three to five times a week um but i've been using it the bare minimum three times a week just because i really want it to last and i am just like impressed like obsessed with this thing like i don't know <laughs> but yeah so i'm really excited to continue using this product in my hair i'm gonna i think it's a 30 day um supply so i'm gonna continue using it until um the end of june and i'm gonna let you guys know what i think about it and of course i'm gonna show you guys how my hair has been growing out and we'll see if it works but yeah i love this oil i literally just used it today but i'm just gonna put some like right here on the scalp Ooh, yes it feels so good and it smells amazing Oh my gosh, I love it so much. All right, so that's what I'm working with. And yeah, by the way, my edges though, my edges though. <laughs> Why am I like this? God help me. All right, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below to my channel. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Love you guys so much, and thank you again for watching. Bye! Do you like my hair, though? I mean, ugh. I don't know what's going on.